What up, y'all? We chill in the house, and you're listening to the Back of the Net podcast. Well, guys, we're to episode 18 of the Back of the Net podcast in partnership with Sweet Patch. It took us about an hour and a half, two hours, 11 hours to actually get this underway. But uh, we got Mr. Sam Bookman with another channel on the way. And also, we have oh, Mr. No, Iris. Not a child. That is a channel, guys. I know. <laughs> Don't be having a freaking heart attack. We've got enough. <laughs> and also, you're just check all day. Um, it's Mr. Irish Ross Kelp. So, David, tell us what's going on in this podcast. Uh, yeah, before I'd, I'd like to uh, tell what's happening, uh, we, we've been running late. It's because um, Adam's been... Uh, I, I know he didn't want me to tell you, everybody, but he's been saving his money up, and he's... So he's had to go to the airport, wait for her. And her name is... Um, what went wrong? Um, she's a beautiful-looking girl. Um, she's only got one eye, but, hey, you know, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. She's got a very nice patch. Um, yeah, okay, we have got, uh, we're going to talk about the cover stars um, for, you know, the covers of the V12, but I'm not even going to go in-depth, because I don't want to ramble, because I piss Adam off. Um, FIFA 12 uh, commentary snippets, um, we've got FIFA 13 details, Christ, we haven't even got FIFA 12 details yet. Official FIFA 12 soundtrack, there's going to be some amazing and annoying songs in that. Um, Pez 2012 isn't a bother, FIFA don't care because it's crap. Um, season ticket, I want to hear more about this. Um, sp- FIFA 12 sponsor, Swindon Town? What? <laughs> um, interview with Tyler and Smith. Uh, and EA, FIFA, best of of the rest 20 years. That's quite good. But there you go. And the rest? I think that's it. Oh, so we've got, we've got real life football. Um, we have uh, players of the week. Uh, w- but before we do anything, we're going to have a uh, subscriber of the week on. Yes, well, we'd say uh, first. talk to me. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh okay, yeah, that. Right, yeah. Guys, what we decided to do is actually move some of the four, fifth, or four, because we did not have way. Adam's got to because we've not introduced him. <laughs> what? Okay. I haven't started it yet. I'm just saying that we're moving the part, we're moving some of the week forward just in case we don't have many people actually go to about 40 minutes in. So, say so move it into about. 30 seconds in, so yeah, introduce I yourself. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> you even ask how I am. What about me? Oh, how oh, are you, mate? You so help the drag. Oh, sorry, what about me? Yeah, no, well, um, I, I actually got a little story, right? Sorry, you know. uh, Wonga, um, Adam is That's fine. the video. Adam, um, I want my introduction first. Go on, okay, now. right. Well, last Thank week you know. in the... Last week we did record a podcast, but it was so shit we didn't podcast. Well, about I it. didn't. Well, okay, I, whatever. Yeah. I was okay. up to a wedding. Okay, Dan. And okay, I left <laughs> okay. the setting in king in charge. And he did a poor job. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, I'm not even going to go into that. Really shit on the podcast. That's the past. Go on. But anyway. You introduce him. Okay, no, but I just want to say this. Anyway, but I told a really weird story about on my way to work one of the mornings. I went into the petrol station. No, oh, I think it got anything to do with a midget. No, it doesn't. Anyway, and I got a hot chocolate, and the guy said oh, hot cho- the hot chocolate was free, right? And I thought that was a really weird promotion. But then this morning before work, I got a hot chocolate as well, and you got a free whisper with your hot chocolate. How weird is that? Yeah, free hot chocolate with a whisper. There are midgets serving you. No, no midgets what, involved. You got a free hot chocolate <laughs> with a free whisper, so you got two free things. Or did you have to pay no, for the hot No, 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 no. You have to pay for the hot chocolate this time, but you got a free wow. whisper. That's the most random wow. promotion I've ever heard. crazy. Oh my god, if that's a crazy story, I can't wait to eat one of your shit ones. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're right. Anyway, they put the mini up on the hot chocolate. Right. It's getting the sub of the we be blabbing along all day. We got random talk to talk about anyway. Yeah, you forgot random talk of the week, Dave. Oh yes, what, what is our random topic? Bumming, as Dan told me before the podcast. Dan just goes, random topic of the week is bumming. I mean, uh, b- bumping, bumping. <laughs> okay. Bumming? Wow. Uh, Not really yeah. good. I didn't go Adam, to. introduce our subscriber of the week. Star special guest. Adam? Hey, be good, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Adam? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Did you sorry. really just put do it in? <laughs> yeah, because I was talking to my dad for a second. So, um. It's the lad! Do you not know? We're doing the podcast! Yeah, no, get off this room for God's sake! God damn. Right. Anyway. Now. <laughs> um, we got a new sub of the week, Wonga HD. Why don't you go introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Wonga HD, and I do mainly FIFA commentaries. On my channel, 
uh, do quite a few series at the moment, doing a Pad in Africa, like Road Story, African uh, African Cup of Nations team, uh, doing Manager Mode of Blackpool, and I do some pack openings and stuff. Ooh. Could you actually say, you know, like the advert when he says, Woonga, can you actually try and do it? Woonga! <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I noticed that when you're seeing yourself, you go like your channel so first out, you go like a road of glory and manager mode, and then you got a park opening. Everyone wants that. It's all in one. That's yeah, it's good though. It's good to have a, a bit of diversity in it because if you're stuck on just park openings all the time, mm. that's all people want, and it's very hard to to change. You know, like you'll put like a goal completion, they're like, "Whoa, what's this? Mm. What's all this about? Oh, I just want park opening." So yeah, I think it's a good idea that you. Uh, just change it about every well, so um, How long you've been doing YouTube, you could say? How, well, how long have you been uploading more than anything? Uh, well, I started out doing uh, COD, actually. I started out doing a competitive sniping over a year ago. But I haven't started... I started FIFA about two, three months ago, seriously uploading. And I am very happy because I prefer FIFA because um, you get a lot more views and a lot more comments and that. I started out in the COD community, didn't do very well, and then I d used to play FIFA, but then I really started making videos, I said, two or three months ago, and it's all hit off from there, and I've got about 500 subs now, and I am very happy and very pleased with that. 555, to be exact, yeah, that's, that's good, man, looking at your, your channel now, looks, looks pretty good. Anyway, I'm not, like I'm, I was just not like I'm the official I was channel the taste viewer, I was but it was cool. Adam, are you going to say anything, because you seem to be the little Irish man in the corner. Uh, uh, hold on, though. You know, he's downstairs, apparently. Do not talk to him, he said. Um, Did he just say that? Right. You know, you know, you said you're doing, like, a COD. You did COD things at first. Yeah. Well, I've just started doing it, and, um, I, I, did, I mean, you said you'd done sniping. Oh, my God, cannot do that for the <laughs> life of me. Um, but the yeah. thing is, I find that I'm, it's hard to find, I think, good clips, or what clips you think people would like, if you're not sniping. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, because I... When I do like, if you see, if you look at uh, COD montages, ninety percent of them or more are sniping because yeah, they no, are, exactly. Which I'm, I like that. I do, I do like watching it, but like I like watching like my favourite like Woody's Game Attack. So I watch it because it's not all about sniping. Do you know what I mean? But like, mm -hmm. if you try to put gameplay up, you find it. You think, oh, they won't like that because it's not like a seven quick scoping. There's a dislike you know, coming in now. Stuff. Call of Duty's coming in too much. <laughs> Oh, I'm just, no, but I'm just, I find it, I, you know what I mean? It's like with FIFA, though, at least, you know, you, you, you just have a skill like, why, or a goal in there. The Call of Duty community and the FIFA, to get a video up on Call of Duty, I think it is a lot easier compared to FIFA. To just get a no video way. Up. No, that's not no. You're just telling me it's not, just, right, no, just take this in consideration, right? right? No, I mean, say, see if you're a good player now. You get your averages like 30 to 1 an hour every game. All you got to do is play like three games a night, and then you sort it for the week. And then with no, FIFA, no, with FIFA, though, for example, right, Adam, you do a rope to glory, right? You're mm -hmm. gonna have to play all loads of games and end up recording all your trading. For example, like my manager mode, right? I gotta record all the goals, try and then pick out certain highlights. But with uh, COD, all you gotta do is get yourself a set game, play, commentate on it, render it, and upload it. There's no editing involved. Yeah, but um, I COD, think the COD community is so big that there's probably loads upon loads of directors out there who have got good stuff, but because the, the community is so big, they never get heard. Yeah, how many COD but, guys but do you know? FIFA, because it's smaller, like 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 Wong has just said, he, he's gone to FIFA because it's easy to get recognised. Yeah. yeah, like Because that. it's, it's that. Not a, there's not a huge, you know, community. Yeah, if you know what's right, think about this right, Dan. We've only, like, what, kind of 4,000 subscribers, right? That's what we're around. That's kind of quite decent for FIFA, but if you think about 4,000 subscribers, it's that's not... nothing for COD, is it? Absolutely uh, nothing. Well, so people, people, people I for that. <laughs> next year, next year, FIFA will be massive, because everyone knows that... Well, this is going to sound fitting, but I think everyone, most people only come in it now because it, they know it's a way that you all these partners and that. That's what I'm thinking. Like, why there's a lot of people. Says the partner. Oh no, I've been. Just got I've been doing. I, but guys, I've been doing FIFA since '09, but on a different channel I was on. Yes. What a channel. Oh yeah, let's go back to Wonga. Cause what's your real name? Unless I was you. Uh, James. James. Um, Adam. Seeing you've been away downstairs doing what we don't know. 
<laughs> oh no, I was moving my laptop downstairs because my dad's like, I have to get up at fucking five o'clock in the morning, shut the fuck up. Uh, so I, go on, just run into the bedroom and slap him really hard on forehead. Uh, no, so that's why I went downstairs, so I wouldn't annoy the shit of him. So, um, yeah, so FIFA 12 wise, Wanga, what are you gonna, what are your plans for FIFA 12? Um, for the first month of FIFA 12, I've got planned just a few commentaries, me getting used to the game, getting used to, because obviously FIFA 12, they say the gameplay is going to be a hell of a lot different, so, but if I do get the grips of it quite soon, which hopefully I will, I'm going to start a manager mode, definitely, and probably a player, like a career player mode, yeah. and then obviously start up the road to glory on the ultimate team, because that is what a lot of people like to see, the ultimate team. Yeah. I don't and I, I do enjoy doing it. Yeah, apparently, uh, FIFA Ultimate Team for 12 will be coming out the moment FIFA comes out. Would you prefer... Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Dave, I That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, James, <laughs> would you prefer FIFA to come out on the day it come out, or would you prefer it to come out like a few months later? Uh, a few months later, I'd say, because otherwise <laughs> people are going to just completely forget about the career mode and just go straight to FIFA Ultimate Team, which mm. I know some people prefer Ultimate Team, but I do like the uh, manager mode on FIFA. Yeah, no, I mean... Yeah. The thing is, though, um, if it all comes out at once from a YouTube point of view, I'm going to have so many different videos that are going to want to do at once, it's going to like really kind of spam. Like, I, I won't be able to decide, if you know what I mean. It'd be a lot easier if I could do my FIFA 12 videos, and then like a month later, start doing Ultimate Team stuff, you know what I mean. Hmm. I would find that yeah. easier. I can see me end up sitting in the mansion more because like I've done it since like FIFA eleven come out and I really enjoy it. Like FIFA like out my team, I don't mind it, but like I I prefer not to keep making videos on it. Like I couldn't do a road to glory for it. Because like with Ultima Team, like I I could check my channel day one, it's gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like with Ultima Team I'm like, oh I prefer just I need to like try and enjoy the game compared to like with management it was easier because then I'm much uh Doing, but like every, you're gonna have to record everything with Ultima Team. Like the World of Glory, you gotta record your trades, or record like your matches that when you edit players and that, like when you players go injured. Yeah, but that's damn, that's why I think it's so popular because people I think appreciate the effort that goes into making World of Glory. It's not just like kind of just any old thing will do. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, but it's, I, I don't know. I hope there's some. I hope there's something easy. You know, like obviously COD's got like that theatre thing. I hope they do something similar to that. Oh, like, like if you do not. save yeah, any goals, David, you don't have to go to like website. David, yeah, I know. Question: Are they actually coming in? The replay thing is like ask highlights. That's coming back in, but it's not actually. Yeah, but I need commentary on it with the full hood as well. I don't like it the way. If it yeah, I agree. In replay. So, um, is it James? Yeah. yeah. Um, who, who at the minute then is um. Is tickling your fancy on the in the FIFA community. Whose videos do you watch the most? And apart <coughs> uh, <laughs> from back home, you, Adam. there's a wide range. Actually, I'm, I mostly watch quite a lot of people. I'm subscribed to a lot of people. I watch near enough most people that I'm heard I know of, but I do watch quite a few of the smaller directors as well. And I have to admit, even though, like as you said, in the FIFA community. The, the smaller directors have got such good content as well that like everyone in the FIFA community is bringing out very good content where like as the COD community you have some people bringing out rubbish content but in the FIFA community everyone's bringing out good content and everyone deserves like subs they're getting mm. yeah I think though we, we, I don't know what it's like with COD at the minute but with FIFA um, I think now everybody's to come in with a PPR where before that wasn't the case You've got to so come. like yeah, you've got to people just like they won't even recognise. Even if you're the best skiller in the world, if you've got if you've got like an easy I know, cap, people, then they're gonna laugh. Yeah, they basically don't look at the gameplay. They look at the quality first. You're like, yeah, wow, exactly. this which is, is not dazzle or something. Yeah, exactly. but I think people are clicking onto that. People are like, all right, well, you know, and they're buying one straight away. The thing is, even if you did buy one and you didn't make it, you know, like you, you realise that you didn't want to do it, you're gonna get your money back for it anyway. Well, mm. not really. But, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, what was, um, I, I had a question, I completely forgot it, um, oh yeah, James. Yep. If you was a soup, what flavour soup would you be? Tomato. Um, why? I, I do like a good tomato soup. Because it's my favourite. Mm -hmm. well, like tomato and basil, do you like tomato and basil or is it just tomato? Just tomato. Mm. I like a bit of basil. I like a bit of chicken, I do it. chicken and... Tomato, chicken, and basil, you fucking <laughs> 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 you fucking weirdo. So, uh, <laughs> Dave, Dave, what soup would you be? 
Me? Mm -hmm. uh, tomato. Everyone, mm -hmm. um, you lot can... Stop. It'd have to be tomato, but there's something different, though. I can't eat tomato soup without getting right. a packet of ready salted crisps, crunching them up, and emptying them in like the crew. Oh, my God, that sounds oh. disgusting. That's not the <laughs> Seriously, I'm not kidding you. It is absolute beast name. Right. right. Say it. All you eat, right, is something with crisps. Because you, every time no. you're on a call... Yeah, you do. Every time you're on a call, you're like... I got myself uh, Oh yeah, I had pot noodle that day with Chris. Not, it's not pot something you do. And then you're like, oh, I got a bread sandwich with crisp and tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. For the texture. For the texture. <laughs> 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 I'm never going to make it on like m m Master Chef, am I? Let's be honest. <laughs> As we have today, Dave, Master Chef, we, we have some French, <laughs> French cuisine with a side of crisps. <laughs> Ready salted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <enough. Long> as, <laughs> what's that? It's a buttery biscuit face. No, um, <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> Radio 1 today. Really? Yeah, it was on Radio 1. Right, right That's quite impressive. The right. Base, base, base. So, anyone got any more questions? I know it's only S3 for us, James, <laughs> at this moment in time. Um, let me think. Have you got a PS3, James? Or is it yes, mainly I've Xbox? Got PS3. Or? PS3. Never got an Xbox. I got a PS3. Oh, so it's mainly on the PS3 then, yeah? Yeah, always on PS3. Never. I've, I've, because I grew up a PS1, PS2, so PS3 is. That's what, so, what? How do you find the people saying that um, the market's completely different on Ultimate Teams and stuff? You know, like the prices wise, because you can get a player for like maybe 10, 15k cheaper on Xbox than you can on PS3. Is that the case? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I haven't got an Xbox, but probably. Oh, sorry, yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, let me think. I mean, what players? For example, Johnson, I mean, and we'll tell you the price on ours. Um, what about Nanny? How much would Nanny go for it on Xbox? Uh, 3k. Yeah, it goes for about 8k on PS3. Wow. It's a, a big difference, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's weird, though, because, like, a good amount of people still play FIFA on there. Um, mm. Maybe it's just less people buy packs or something. That's why it's less people on the market. It's weird. I want to find out. Yeah, I'm not sure about the pack thing because obviously we have to pay with actual um, money, like money from our wallet, not uh, Microsoft points. Can you not buy coins with the more coins, can you? No, we can't. No, really? it's got to just buy packs. Price, though, I think it's the same price, but it would come out like, for example, yeah. if you got a thousand Microsoft points, it would come out in like. How many packs can you buy with 8,000 uh, Microsoft? Let's say like 6 or something. It'll come out with like 6 different payments for like 150 each or something. Yeah. I think it's something like that. And um, just to say, Adam just sent us a link. The <laughs> it's brilliant. He, like, He's brilliant. 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 He's <laughs> it's like this picture of this like real like, babe <laughs> sitting on top of this like, little, you know, like buffalo. Fucking <laughs> buffalo, fucking you know, hell, it's like she's ate the buffalo. <laughs> and she's doing the duck face as well. Yeah, she's doing the, I'm trying to do my sexy face, but all I can do is my face when I'm, like I do when I'm eating. That face. Yeah, she's a, she's a real looker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're moving on to next then, Dan. Right. Um, would you like to stay in for, what are we doing next, our first bit? Oh, random topic. You know, we just went random talking about... So, just bummer. We're talking about bumming, is that right, man? Bumping, <laughs> not bumming. Uh, James, do you know what bumping is? You yes, I do know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically, guys, bumping, video bumping, is when you upload a video and then you re-upload another video to make your original video to go to the top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really confusing. This video to that video to your original video. I think I think everybody gets it. <laughs> yeah. So you do this, this, and that. What do you guys think of it? I don't mind it technically, kind of. Um, to be honest, I don't mind it if you have a really shitty connection like I do. Because if you notice, the um, YouTube puts your video in the order of sub box when they started being uploaded, not when they finished being uploaded. So therefore, someone like me, who fucking takes ages to upload, a video could be two hours down the sub box by the time it actually gets published. So in that case, I think it's okay. But for people with like RNA and AVFCs like BT Unlimited thing, I think it's a bit... I don't That's know. What I've got. Yeah, it's pretty beast that connection. What is it, like eight upload or something? Is it? It's very quick to upload, put it that way. 
Yeah, I wish my, I my internet connection's powered by an hamster in the front room because it is so shit. Just running around, wheel. it's pathetic. I, I could run faster <laughs> to a country and send them a message than I could with this. Yeah. I don't think you mind it, like what Adam just said, like, um, if you've got a really poor connection. Well, well, like, people say, oh, you just bumped this video, but, but if you subscribe to my channel for my content, I ain't exactly... You don't watch it, anyway. yeah. Yeah, I ain't exactly not... got giving you something else which you ain't supposed to have. I'm giving you my video, but again, basically. But then, if it's at the top, just don't watch it, simple as. Yeah, but exactly, but, like, the people that are only going to see it are going to be your subscribers anyway. So, obviously, they've subscribed to see your videos anyway. So, if you get more views out of it, it's only your subscribers that are watching it, isn't it? Yeah. Basically. So, I don't really see the issue. Because, like, people say, oh, um, people thumb up videos and that, but not a lot of people, like, to get to the top, but not a lot of people are on, like, uh, I never on the, like, latest activity and that. I'm not on that much, so. Video bumping, I don't mind if you've got bad connection, but if you've got really good connection. Yeah. End of the day, I don't. So what, people? People, but it's not exactly like end of world, is it? People no. bump. That's it. Um, I'll get to my it, nerves. Is money hole going to be honest? I mean, that's not um, it. well, well, it, yeah, that's one. It, again, I don't. It doesn't annoy me. It's just I'm a bit gutted when when I I like certain directors and, and I like the video and then I'll go on it and it, the video is just a pile of shit and you think, hey, do you know what I mean? And then you realise that it's just just for the for the spondulas, you know what I mean? And it's not just in FIFA; it's it's weird, cod and other, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's not annoying me, but I'm just a bit good because I've been looking forward to watching a video, and then like I click on it and it's some bag of shit. Yeah, to add on to that, like um, I, what annoys me is when um, like the big directors I'm talking about, people like that have got over 20k, and even in the cod community, people that have got over 100k, they upload maybe once a week, and yeah. that. That really does annoy me if they upload it once a week and their video is not very, well, not quite poor to be honest. It's like if you've got that many subs, release more than one video a week for them, come on, because you see the smaller guys releasing a lot more videos just to try and get up there. And to be honest, I'd rather be sub someone that's going to release five good videos a week than one poor yeah, video. Yeah, but a week what is, like, because you've got a lot of people who like original, like for example, actuals now, they can put whatever they want, but, well, but not lately. You can, you've been getting a lot of hate lately, but like originally, you could just upload wherever you want put a commentary on it and people will love it. And so I think it's because like it's such a like um to be like oh you can what they'll watch any video you upload, you gotta be like the, the first one, like one of the first directors or something to be up there. Yeah. I think. So that's way off video bump then. Anyway. <laughs> so but, oh, go on. but it's yeah it's go on, you know, come know, on, go on. let's go watch the, the next Alright. So, like, say thanks to Mr. James Wonger HD for coming on to this podcast, and go on head on head on over to his channel and subscribe. Tell him we sent you. Get him to I don't know two bazillion subscribers. You know you can't get that between us. But yeah, thanks for coming on, mate. Get him thanks to for- a, a thousand subscribers, and he will. Dress up and reenact the Wonga video, you know, like the commercial that, that's on telly. He will do it and he will do all lines and everything. Dress up. It's going to happen. Thanks for having me, guys. No problem. Always, man. Take care. No right. Right. right, so we would like to introduce the next topic, which is the cover Go song. On, Adam. Which was meant to be done last week. Adam. Which was what? The cover stars. <laughs> Right, uh, the cover stars, like all the recent ones which have just been released, well, last week got released. Um, uh, well, I think the main one that everyone's looking at is the English one, like the UK, Ireland, Scandinavia cover, which has, who's it, Rooney and um, Wilshire. Uh, Jack Wilshire. Which Jack is quite Wilshire. surprising, actually. I didn't expect him to put Wilshire on there. But the only mm. reason I see him put it on there is because they secure that he wouldn't leave Arsenal. Uh, and he tweets non stop about FIFA. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I quite like it. Uh, I like the Ars- I like the Arsenal kit though. That was nice. Yeah, that that Arsenal blue away kit is actually pretty, mm. pretty like nice looking. To be honest, I really like it. Mm. Is it um like uh, what do you call it? I'm losing my train of thought. Is it like their anniversary or something, or what they actually why they actually got it? Sorry. Is it the like anniversary or something? Dave, we you two as well. Come and help me out. Um, they're like anniversary or something. That's why they got it. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, um, it's yeah. It's I think yeah. Their original kit or something. 
the original kit. I can't imagine that being the original kit, but yeah, there's a lot of covers as well, guys. You got Russia, which got the uh, right back or someone I can't remember his name, and Kaka, which is quite surprising. I was expecting him to have like another Russian player or someone on there, like Arshavin. Like for example, like uh, France one got Benzema on the front, as well as uh, Arab. Who's the other guy? Rooney and Abadat or something. I think that's his name. And guys, come in. You just both sat there doing. Well, you're the man. You're just you're talking China away. I know. Well, I don't interrupt you. You can pop in. <laughs> you can pop in. Saying, actually, no. Uh, that's wrong. I think. I think it annoys. I, I don't know. I think it does annoy me with cover stars and stuff like that. Depending on, um, you know, who it is. I, I wish that. Um, I mean, I know every different country has its has, has its own in a way, doesn't it? Well, it, well yeah, I don't know. Have like a um, what do you call it? It has a like one nation player like from a big club or something on. Yeah, or, I, like, I just I just think um, I don't know. I mean, for for example, the, who's going to be on the cover this time? It's going to be Rooney, isn't it? Yeah, Rooney got a deal like for a few years. He'll be on it for ages. Like people. Um, what is it? Oh, no, this was the commentary, I'm going on something different, but yeah, um, Rooney will be on there for a while, guys, more likely. Um, I think the only one which he's, one that he's not on is Spain. Spain, quite surprising as well, they got Pique and Xavi Alonso. Mm, you would have thought maybe uh, Ronaldo or... Yeah, or Kaka, maybe someone, I think Kaka's signed to... A Could you imagine the amount of money, though, it would have cost? To yeah, get... but I, I yeah, think, you know, David all these players on this... Will they actually play FIFA? I don't know. Like David A as well, right? He wanted like two million or something to go on the front cover of. Uh, yeah, it's all. They don't give a shit about uh, about the game or anything like. It's just all. It's all. As our guest is Wonga, it's all about that, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I I think people should go up front. Should actually play it. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah, they could do. But yeah. Um, Loads of covers been released, guys. This uh, guys, it's kind of a. I think there's kind of a new theme going on with it. I don't know. It's similar, but it's quite. It looks quite nice, isn't it? The graphics yeah. design is still in pretty good level. Game theme though, compared to, um, like last year, like the in-game theme was the same as the cover, near enough. Like this year is completely different, which is quite strange. Um, but yeah, guys, if you there'd be links in the description. If I end up putting them in there of all the covers, you can go see them yourself and that. And yeah, that's the covers. Who would like to introduce? All, all on you guys. Get on to EA instead of Messi saying they want some ba- you want some Barnsley players for the front, front, front cover. I would buy about 20 copies. <laughs> okay. Make it happen, guys. Hashtag it. <laughs> right, um, <Yeah>. Also, <laughs> also we got uh, FIFA 12 commentary snippets which is basically little snippets from commentary <laughs> I love Dan's explanation it's amazing <laughs> you are a legend <laughs> one of you go on with it I need myself a beverage uh, uh, basically, go on, do you, oh, do you want go on fine you go for it then have you even no, it's just basically yeah, I've heard one or two, and I just don't like. I don't, I've never liked commentary on on, on FIFA's. I think it's just stupid. Never sinks right. You have a shot, and it's blazing up out of the stadium. They go, oh, close. Or if I see the bar, and you're like, what has? What's the bar? And and Andy Townsend did it. Is doing it into. No, 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 no. He's just uh, just he's just like he's should download. He is. It's Alan Smith. Which have been getting a lot of but I'll have Alan Smith on, so I can't stand Andy Andy Townsend. I like I'm it. Sorry, I know he plays for the little snip for Ireland, but uh, he I just don't like him. He's getting on a bit. Well, no, no, but he's, I just don't like him. I think he's a bit of a knob. So what do you like um, Andy Townsend. Oh right, uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, Alan, <laughs> Alan, Smith, <laughs> Alan Smith's been getting a lot of hate lately. Now oh, why? I think it's all right. Yeah, I think it's like, all right. Clips yeah. I listen to you can, guys. You can listen to these as well. Link will be in the description. And as you know, they say all from FIFA sort of blog as well. Um, there is, um, it's like I quite like it. Um, they the, they got like the original, like when Andy uh, Martin Tyro got to Andy Gray. Oh, you played for this club, and he basically does the same thing. Goes Arsenal, your old club there, Alan. Yes, yeah, there's some two good clubs. It's like, why well, find funny though? Just it's like being a pro. 
Huh? Sorry, go on, mate. Oh, yeah, well, I think... It's like when you do, you know when you do the pro season? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Anyway, you do be a pro season, and I, I always started off with Leeds. Yeah. And you got the same commentary every game. Oh, Leeds used to be in the Champions League. Oh, but that was a long time ago. Well, you go, yeah, yeah, and then you play the next match. Oh, Leeds used to be in Champions League. I'm like, please. Yeah, why not? No, say well, again. There's, Twice. <laughs> there's a bit of Chris and people on the edge. <laughs> there's, there's a bit of a problem you. with um, uh, either go like I go uh Alan, this is your old club that's playing you today, and instead of him going, yeah, this is my old club, I played two good games with him, and uh, looks like they're going to have two uh, great matches here today. He'd have go, <laughs> not like that, but he'd have go, um, <laughs> that would be wicked. He'd have go, he'd have just, he don't go about saying about his career, he'd just go, yeah, some two good teams going up against each other. You, It's like if he's not listening to Martin, he's like, if he just completely went off. <laughs> It probably isn't. But no, I think I think you should be able to download some funny ones. You know, like like you know like, like fan zone when yeah. kids come back and and it's like two fans do it commentary. Yeah, yeah. If, have you ever heard that? Man, yeah. that's so funny. Mm-hmm. I think you should do something like that. I think you should yeah. Yeah. Something like that'd be wicked. That was actually mentioned. Like I am uh David Rutter actually did a thing, he said we ain't bringing any fan zone or anything in. Um, and also they not bad anything bad to sway. Bad. They're not actually bringing in anything to sway the team because all morale and has in there now. They're not bringing anything to make the if the commentary you say something or the fans do something. It won't like sway the team on how they play. Luckily enough. But yeah, I... that's it. I'm I'm thinking no more. Sorry, Rutter. I've gone to Paris. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we got we got a story about that as well. We can talk about. That. Um, yeah, I quite like it. I quite like the snippets that they're actually showing. Um, it's, I, yeah, it sounds alright, right. doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. So it's not. It doesn't thing is, we can't. Yeah, yeah, the only thing. Think, yeah, thing is, we, flat, you know, it, it never does anything to games, does it? It's like you listen to it. Yeah, it sounds alright. It's the gameplay I want to see. Well, but, no, what is um, the pre-game audio clips for like the commentary sounds a lot better compared to the ones in game because you go in game. Well, like if you listen to the clips now, guys, if you actually go in there, they're actually just like proper, clear, perfect. And then like in game, it's like not that good. I don't listen to the commentary much, but I don't know. I'm glad there's some. Uh, that's all I can say. I don't. I, you know, FIFA FIFA 11. I don't really listen to commentary at all now. I kind of turn it down and play some music in background because it just annoys me. Do you know what I mean? It's just I can't a bit robotic. I, I cannot play with music in the background whatsoever. It's weird. Oh, I love it. Bit of Don Williams. I'm only kidding. I don't like country music, but um, yeah. Um, I, I just, it's just, it just, it just seems very robotic. Good shots. Yeah. Ooh, that's been funny, right? They were yeah. when they were hating up against Harris Smith. They were going, "It sounds like he's reading from a script." No shit. He's reading. From a <laughs> 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 he's, not, he's not like watching two guys play on the telly and going. Oh, that was a great shot. <laughs> what is he? What an idiot. That's what I mean. I'm like, seriously, are you actually kidding me? Whoever put that, you're an idiot. You're yeah, like, oh my god. It, what was it on? Uh, oh no, it was like, they upload, they had a clip before and then they re-uploaded it when they had an interview and they was going like, oh, oh um, I can't, people saw a blog post of this. He was going, oh, we know <laughs> um, Alan Smith sounds like he's reading off the script because he is. I'm like, oh, seriously, you cannot be that stupid and say, Oh, actually, it sounds like he's reading off a script, even though he is. Like, come on, people. Yeah. So, Adam, have you got something to plug or something or say about this topic in hand? About which now? Oh, my God. <laughs> have you even been listening or what? <laughs> yeah, the thing you, is, you're uh, like, me and Dave would be blabbing along. And then when we go to Adam, he's like, um... Yeah, well, I don't, sometimes he's not here. I was just going to message on Skype going, Gone, gone downstairs, back back in a minute. Like, <laughs> no, oh, no, right. What it is is, right? And um, there's a video that cut free. I don't know, something on with cut free easy. And so loads of lads said, um, like, Keo and all them said, get this video to 100 likes and cut free easy's getting, getting his nipples out. <laughs> so, <I'm wondering, laughs> so I just tweet that cut free saying, get your tits out for the lads. <laughs> I just tweeted back saying, lol, 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 lol. What about? Oh, I don't know. I don't really get. <laughs> anyway, let's say. So, should we talk about FIFA 3D? I want to. Yeah, but I want to talk about. I want to talk about that. Um, what do you call it? Season tickets. I'm really interested. Oh, oh yeah, that's oh, awesome. I've already talked about that. Just go watch my. Oh. No, you have. I know you have in your vlog. 
Yeah. yeah, but then you you mistook it though, didn't you? When we asked you about it, you didn't understand why it was. Oh no, I didn't say. I didn't realize that you actually get the physical thing. <laughs> okay, wait no. Let's just yeah, explain this quickly. Okay, guys, we're well, basically EA are releasing this new thing called the EA. Do you remember the EA subscription that we talked about a few months ago? Not a few months ago, a few yeah. weeks ago. That's it. Yeah. But we have a posh name. It's called EA Season Ticket, and basically, what you do is it costs two thousand Microsoft points or. Seventy uh, nine if you went into a shop. Yeah, basically. Twenty five dollars. And um, yeah, and basically what you do is part of it. What it is is right. It applies to FIFA, Madden, oh, NHL. Yeah, that's NHL. Yeah. Anyway, and basically what this is right. You get a game. You get the game three days before it's due to come out, so three days before the actual retail date. And you get to download the full game to your hard drive and play it and stuff. And then once the three days over, the game will expire, but all your achievements and that sort of stuff will transfer over once you buy the physical game. You also get discounted like um, downloadable content and free premium web content, as well as membership recognition, which means that, I don't know, it's great your membership recognition, whatever, it's probably a little bad. It might, that might add some bit to in future, you know what I mean? They might make it exclusive to people who's got membership recognition or something. Yeah, but th the thing I'm interested about is the three days early thing, because... Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't really, I didn't because really, when you say three days early, I thought, how's that going to work? So they're actually going to see so download... I think it's an actual download, yeah. I think, um, you know, when you actually download it, they, you, you download EA Sports Season ticket before you pay for it. I'm assuming they just add stuff in there. And you go there every so often. Are you guys going to do this? Yeah, I don't definitely. know. I don't know. Well, I don't. It, okay, but think about it like this, right? Besides FIFA, right? It also applies to them other five games, right? So if I don't actually play Madden, if I play Madden, yeah, I'm actually going to start doing well, here, it. Right, think about it like this, right? So that's how many games in total. There's five other games, right? So even if you don't want to buy them games, that's you basically, download. Yeah, basically, yeah. You're basically getting three days free rental right before the game even comes out so if you do fancy doing a video you get some yeah, it's like that. it's like going to, could you go to blockbuster and rent those five games for 17.99 exactly i don't, think, mm. I don't know no, you're not renting them you actually pay for it you pay no, for it to get well, paid on it oh damn no all that but they expire so it's, it's kind of like a rental in a way oh, so what he's trying to say for, for the, the 17.99 for the 17.99 it's actually not a bad deal because you can just rent you can just download they'll get them games the anyway cost, yeah the cost of renting them so basically you and rent anyone three days Sam, in. anyone like yourself that's a partner right you could easily make your money back on that if you put up a video i have no money so, though sorry yeah Okay. <laughs> we're naked in the wicked one. We know you're in it for the love of FIFA. Mm. Yeah, but even though you're I not know in what you mean, see where you're coming from, from like a money making perspective, you can easily make your money back. But yeah. um I don't know. I don't know whether I wanna I, I ain't gonna buy it because I don't wanna waste money on it. And um, plus I haven't got money on it because I'm gonna watch Chelsea and Norwich on the twentieth, just to see. And then Swan Wow. Wow, well, you got your priorities right. No, um <laughs> no, I think <laughs> I think I'll be vlogging um, as well, guys. I'll be vlogging now, so be sure to subscribe to Yo Daniel and I'll and be vlogging. This will come from the Blackburn fan going to see Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Shit! He's the best fan. <laughs> <laughs> I went last year as well to the Chelsea game. I went to three Chelsea games last year. No, I think I think I'll be getting it. I mean, uh, FIFA is my favourite game, so why not? Do you know what I mean? Why? If I want, if I were more of a COD fan. And, um, you know, thing which is coming out. Yeah. You're sorry? There's a thing coming called the leak the group or something, and then I'll end up coming out. So that you end up paying yeah. for I don't know. But, I mean, if I were a big card fan and I kind of occasionally play FIFA, I won't pay 79 man. But I play FIFA more than anything, so I might as well, I I might, you know. After FIFA comes out as a hard sale thing, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see... I may get it, but I'm going to see what other people have done first before I buy it. <laughs> Look up some reviews or something like that. No, but I'm definitely going to get it, because especially for anyone you looking... Get, no, you keep on about spending money. Go get it now. Yeah, well, I don't really need it now, but basically for anyone that's looking to get a channel started, there's no better way than getting a game a couple of days early and getting a few videos out. That is a really good channel starter, so mm -hmm. that's just my piece then. No, I agree. I agree, mate. Mm -hmm. So, so we go on the FIFA 13 de details. Yeah. Actually, yeah, before we go on to that, before we go on to that, uh, do you think the is worth it? 
Do you think what's worth it? Because you're worth it, the season ticket. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. Is that really have to be like the hair flipping like they do on the adverts? Yeah, but speaking of the hair flipping, do you notice how shiny your hair is? If I seen someone with my hair that's shiny and free like, we like a fucking freak out. Oh, no. no, but it's not just that. How flammable is that? I mean, potentially you walk past somebody smoking, whoa, you're on fire! <laughs> I mean, the amount of chemicals they get them people sprayed and put on, you're just a walking fire hazard. Boy, he's Caffrizi. Posted a picture of his nipple. No way, I'm having a look. <laughs> Why do I want to look? Actually, I'm not looking. Just exactly from my... <laughs> it's, it's one of those things. Do I look? Do I not look? It's actually, look. It's actually black. Apparently, he said he had like a translator or something. <laughs> what? Oh, what the hell is that? Even I know. It looks like it's uh, landed on the moon. <laughs> I doubt it's. I'm not even opening that picture. <laughs> I don't even want to. That's not his nipple. No, it's no way. No. How do you know it's I know it's like yesterday? Yeah, and that's not his nipple. But uh alright, so what we're gonna talk about FIFA thirteen? FIFA thirteen, yes guys. Uh, basically FIFA thirteen will be connect compatible. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Get ready for, for all the people that um, can't be asked to get up to thirteen, that would be bad. Mm. Does that mean if you're Ronaldo, does that mean you'd be like the best player in the game? He's like, you'd be the best player. I'd be in it like that, but um, you, you'd obviously have like the extra abilities now, like pace and whatnot. Well, I'm assuming, this is going to be quite funny, because can you, you can play in goals while doing it. Can you imagine trying to die for the ball? Like, where, where my setup is, I got a new setup as well, guys, so I should make a new one again. I got my bed there, and then I got a mirror. <laughs> a what, the, what the script? Oh. I got more... Just right. Dad, yeah. Let me just explain this. When you get a wife... They tend, they tend to like move the bedroom around or the living room. Can you imagine how like, many videos that I'd have? Okay, I just, I've got a new setup. My wife's put my TV at that side now, and I've got my desk at there. You would have got a million setup videos. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'll have another one out soon. But yeah, if you prefer even for the client, I got a client. Have you two got oh. uh, I got ridden it. Um, I just didn't play on it. I don't really have the room in my I, room I, to play. I can see it being a good, but it'd be like, oh my god, I could easily break my arm. In. The thing is, the thing is, what I'm thinking of Dan is, if you remember when people had Wii and they didn't when Wii first come out, and people like won't put the strap on and like pad, pad TV. Huh? I mean, yeah, you know when Wii first come out. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yes, the, yes, yes. So what? So what? You know, it's gonna be like A and E is gonna be like full of people. What? Right, what happened, love? Oh, basically, I went to save a top corner shot, went straight through my glass. Cut, um, Coffee table. Yeah, have mm-hmm. you seen them? Have you seen that viral video? Some guy's playing the Wii tennis, and he swing. He goes with the like, swings the controller, but the controller <coughs> comes off his hands and just breaks his old TV. Yeah, the thing I think though is, um, Jim knows a Wii. I don't know if this happens with Connect, but at first when I played Wii, I was like, oh, getting really into it. I was like Roger Federer playing tennis and stuff. <laughs> but then, like after a while, you realize you can just sit down and just swing your arm. Yeah, you no. actually... with the Connect, you can't <laughs> because. With a Kinect, you have this no controller, and you literally gotta stand up. You can't exactly sit down and wobble to the left and wobble to the right. Thing is, thing is about that is, uh, I mean, I, I, I was trying to like compare. You've got the Kinect, you've got the the is it that PS Move or something? Is it PlayStation yeah, Move? I got then you've got, oh, yeah. then you've got the Wii, kind of like revolutionised, you know, like um, gaming free, yeah, free handed games. So right, okay, so the Wii is good. I think majority of people who've oh, got a Wii yeah. house just like kids. The best oh. is the PlayStation. Well, oh. let me right. Let me get to what you've got this year. You've you got, you, you got your Wii, and uh, I I had I, I got I used to have loads of games for Wii. Well, mainly like kids, but a lot for me. And Call of Duty, aren't we? It's ridiculous. FIFA, aren't we? It's ridiculous, it's right? Duty to play it. Call of Duty would be pretty good if you get the guns. Oh, it, it really is. I had the gun really in, mate. Honestly, so. So it, it it's good for a kid kid's perspective, you know, like Mario and stuff. That's for like proper gamers, right. fix a poor as well. Annoying kids have fun. Then oh, wee! That's when they have fun. They go wee, and then they're like, oh, there's name of the that's, that's the best you can do. Then you've got then you've got your connect, which is really good, but obviously it's only just come out, so um, it's mainly all like party games and stuff. But the will be, or the, you know, the UFC. They have, I want to get UFC. UFC one to look good. But that trade thing. But you've, then you've got the PS, uh, the PlayStation Move, which I'm, I'm really, I'm thinking about getting this. Because I've got PS3. PlayStation Move is like, 
that... for any town for the starter pack. Yeah, that, I'm really thinking about it. Uh, the gun, you see, what I, what I like about the PS PlayStation network as such, Sony, then I do Microsoft is, Microsoft tends to be, you have to buy everything official, don't you? There's not many, like, third-party controllers and stuff, and if they are, they're really shit. Yeah. But we... We Sony, oh my god, you can get so many decent stuff. It's like the guns and stuff that you can get. Uh, I've, always for, been for I've always been like, I've always preferred PlayStation, but recently. Well, I, I use it, but I, I do much prefer Xbox. But that, that's that side I, I'm I'm looking forward to. So I don't know. I don't think like the whole FIFA 13. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I, th- I think it'll be mini games. I don't think it'll be. Any- it's a novelty. It's a novelty. I think people are liking it first, and then people re- realise, wow, yeah, I'm knackered for doing twenty. Right. Imagine playing like, playing ninety minutes of football is tiring enough, right? Can you imagine playing a twenty minute game in your bedroom, diving round, whacking your head on everything? That's. I, I want to be. I want to be honest here. Um, before I had kids, me and my wife would do that a lot. You'd I mean, what? twenty minutes rolling around, banging his heads on different stuff. Okay. If you get me, if you get me drift. Unfortunately, but, the most age are under the age of 16. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I just think it's a novelty thing, and I think kids will go, wow, yeah, you know, FIFA, let's do it, and they'll stand up, and they'll think it's good, and then they'll go, wow, I'm knackered, let's get pads out. You know, yeah. It's just, a, it's just. Like, you play a half hour of it, and, like, and then you'll be like, oh, that'll do me for the night. I'm actually knackered. Yeah. So what you want is, what they want to develop is something that you go into, you fall asleep, and you actually play the game in your sleep. Oh, so when you wake up, you're not as tired. Film, the film See? Gamer. See? No, the film. Yeah, I've seen that. Like that. That's what the world's going to be like. I need to do a video on this thing, right? It's a... Oh, oh, it's doing a setup. No, set no, 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 no. It's a 3D <laughs> thing coming from Sony. And it's like you put it on, and it's like... Yeah, dude. Money hole, money hole. <laughs> So, oh, ever since you got this partnership, Dan, that's all you've been on there. Money, money, money. Guys, guys, just let you know, people who, who actually subscribe to my channel, but the one percent. Um, my wife's changing curtains, so we're doing a setup video tomorrow. <laughs> my curtains. <laughs> yeah, Dan, you know, I never watched your setup video. You know, the TV on the wall—is that just a watch TV? Yeah. You know, is that just right? Oh, what did these? Oh, wow, did I miss this while I was away at work? Did you yeah. put the setup yeah. video? Yeah. Yeah, is that, is that it there? Wow, yeah. We've been on oh, yeah. for the past 20... Actually, I don't know how long this podcast has been going on, but, yeah. <laughs> is this been on your main channel, Dan? Uh, it's on yeah, it's no, in... it's on Yo Danny. I know. Oh, that was put me off at Yo Dan here, Chow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yo, Dan, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I got two TVs, I got for, like, games. Huh? So, uh, oh, it's been... It's sometimes, because if they realise that you did, you did, your name is Yo Dan here... People go, <laughs> your name is Jordan. 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 Uh, oh, that, that last, that's that's two of it. Dan, tell, Dan, tell me the video isn't the boy who lived. Oh, tell me Harry that's Potter. One. I talked about Harry Potter the film. It is. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Dan, is this a 49 second video of your YouTube partnership gaming set up a new haircut all put in 49 yeah. seconds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I must have been a shit <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't bad, it was five quid. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's FIFA 13, guys, for the Kinect. What do you guys think of that? Um, it could be good for a start, but obviously, e- um, other Microsoft... Could be good, could be bad, it could be what? indifferent. <laughs> what do you think? Other like games, other um, Microsoft already got games out, like football ones and that. Um. Yeah, I think so. So that I can't, fact, oh, phone goes off. I can't see that overtaking now, personally. But it could be good. It couldn't. I, I let, if there's a separate game for FIFA 13 to actually go and connect, I won't end up getting it. If, if it's built in, I'll end up getting it, obviously. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So well, is that it? Well, Adam. I'm guessing it's going to be built in. They, they wouldn't be able to like get that as a separate podcast, you know. Right? Our separate, separate game. Podcast. What are we? What are you on about? We want to freaking about the game. Yes, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to sell it as a separate game. Oh no! But you never know. It could be bring out FIFA, but as just for Connect, it could be just. Mm. Did you ever notice there was that game that was meant to come out for free called Joyride as an arcade game, and they brought it out? Oh for yeah, like a they t- end up charging for it now. Yeah, they put it out as an arcade game. Which is... I never actually played that, but it got really bad yeah, reviews, didn't it? You know what I mean? A lot of people said it was out good. Connect, didn't it? It was originally just going to be for controllers. And then yeah, if it's so we can make some good money off this. Let's put it in the Kinect and make people buy it. Because so I got the demo and it is really good on the Kinect. Hey guys, um, I can't. So I don't know anything else about um, 
the FIFA 12 soundtrack or pairs because every time I click on the links, it doesn't work. All right, yeah. um, there is a. It might be because of like COVID. Oh shit, no, they don't. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, error. Yeah, don't that was database. Yeah. <gasps> FIFA sort of blonde might be down. Uh oh, Teddy W, bye bye. He's been hacked. Oh my uh. god. Thingy you know what I'm a bit disappointed about? Disappointed. Can we just oh, hold on? You know what I'm a little bit disappointed about? FIFA sort of blonde's down. Right, are you ready? That people have been making fake accounts up, haven't they? Like the Anto Holland oh, yeah. and the Gothic yeah. one. Yeah. Nobody's made one of Irish Welsh Kel. I'm so disappointed. Come on, guys. Get out there and make loads of them Irish Scottish Celt or something like that. Oh, you know. Adam, I know when I tweeted you that picture saying, showing you your description. What? I tweeted you a picture. Like <laughs> when you was in work. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I said my videos was on, like, zero views in total. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was HTML coding your um, YouTube channel. I was just having fun. That's all. Oh, Dan. Are you This is how we roll guys on the back of the net. You got him again, Dan. No, oh, but Dan. Game tag I go after. What well, you game tag uploaded? I watched that as well. Yeah, I watched that as well. That's quite cool. I'm going to do that. Yeah, it's quite funny. You did that. Play pranks on people if you want. Um, I think, uh, apparently Woody and Fwiz uh, have now uh, got a agent. Um, yeah, um, guys, if you know this, his name is Shane. Thirty-eight, eight Shane. So get in contact with Fwiz, Trout, or any big YouTuber. Does it say? Then we do Thirty-eight, Shane. He, he can hook you up. Just to say. It, it is. If you're listening, Shane, I got your back. <laughs> we love you. Shane, yes. Um, let's go, right, the FIFA 11 soundtrack, it, it is a, uh, um, I don't think we can play it on you because it's actually copyright, uh, should be late in the description if it don't work, I'm sorry, but, um. So you got, have they got the Venga Boys on it? <laughs> I'd love to play the Venga Boys. FIFA 10, they're, they've only announced, like, one play for them, huh? Huh? They've only announced, like, one of the artists for Oh, yeah, for it's it. like the first one, and, uh, they were on FIFA was 10 it? as well. Who was it? Um, I don't know, because uh, the link don't work. I hope it's, I hope it's Snoop Dogg. FIFA the first thing comes down, guys. I'm just saying, right? FIFA soccer blogs down. Okay, Dan. FIFA, oh my god. Right. Relax, Dan. Patch, wait, wait, wait. Sweet Patch, we are sponsored by Little Pitch. Go check them out. Um, and, um, they, I think they, oh yeah, whoa, is that mine in the latest news feed? Uh, DSG's pure FIFA vids. Is that mine? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, because of all the other DSG pure vids that are right there on Sweet Patch. <laughs> where, where did you, um, where did you steal, you know, come up with steal? Silly me. Where did you uh, come up with the pure vids from, Dan? Um, originally, I didn't know that I got it from, right? And then I realised, oh, right. <laughs> George, I'm sorry, I didn't, I completely didn't realise when I actually wrote it. And then I'm like, oh, poo. I did not realise when I wrote it. <laughs> no, I do it now. I, didn't, I completely... Like oh oh actually poo of it and then I realised oh I'm should we um, should we just we'll talk on FIFA 12 you know this PES 2012 oh, yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, even though it's an article at least I mean I can see where EA are coming from I mean I I were a big fan of Revolution Soccer man I were like FIFA's rubbish this game you you, you never score the same goal twice it's brilliant blah blah blah. And the only thing that was bad part it was the Master League thing on it yeah. you didn't have the proper did you yeah, but see, go on. You, you've got to look at you've got to look at EA now. They must be thinking, wow, they've made you know, um, is it Konami? The, Konami, Konami in it. Konami. They've made, yeah, they've made terrible after terrible after terrible. You know, like trying to you know uh, trying to improve the game. Who's this now, Pat? You know, yeah, and it's now it's garbage. I don't think they can ever get back, even no, if they improve that. Unless someone it's basically fun. buys them out. If someone buys them out, who was originally working at EA, um, they may do it, no. but. But Dan, it's all about reputation and kind of pedigree, I think. It is now. It's all about reputation, and yeah. um, I don't think now they can come up with anything original that, that FIFA ha hasn't already yeah. or it hasn't I already done or going to do. There was another game come out. It was called Pure Football, and I don't. That was shocking. Uh, even Chera, I don't feel. Yeah, that team Chera. I don't. Oh my god! Don't that. They asked that. In quid. Shocking. What was it? What was it like? Was it like a... I don't know. Uh, I'm presuming why it was 10 quid. I knew, I'm pretty sure it would probably because it would dog turd. But, um... 
it's I don't know. I mean, like with Pro, like, I I came to FIFA. I went. I switched to FIFA on FIFA 08. Yeah. Right. And I think it was Pez 06. Pez 6, I think it was. I Pez 5, I had Thierry Henry on front. I had that for PSP as well. And that was like, oh, good game, but, you know, it's, it's not very good online. Then I went to Pez 6, and I think that's when the internet, I think either that 6 or after 6 is when internet were, were terrible. Yeah, because it, after Pez 6, I think it went to Revolution Soccer 2008, I think it went to. Yeah, oh, it was terrible. You could, you got a game. Every time you played, you you played it'd be like you'd be passing it. Next minute, it'd stop, and the ball would be back at net. I you know what I mean? It was a game. Yeah, I think okay. I think FIFA have got so much far ahead in that fight. Oh, yeah, they've, they've, they've really listened since like the people before. And how long has it been? Like, good, like when did FIFA like up the gen in what was it? Oh eight, I think they had yeah. just bit yeah. the big jump for next gen gaming, and like yeah, it just hasn't kept up. Also, no, I mean, it can't help that they haven't got the licensing, but when they did get licensed, yeah, the yeah, Champions it's League did. Licensing, though, right? It doesn't matter about the licensing. But if, for example, if you get uh, FIFA 08 now, or FIFA 09 even, and then you compare the pairs 2011, I bet you only FIFA 09 will end up winning. Yeah, it would. I mean, FIFA 09 is my favourite. We're not hating on uh, this, guys. We were just saying that, like, you can. Like, just I mean, I feel, I feel sorry for all the, the PES fans out there who are still big fans, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I do feel sort of because I think you've been basically they haven't tried to improve the game they've just gone shit this one's been crap let's just throw another one out because there's always yeah. some problems the only thing of fans of consideration FIFA haven't been that kind to us if you think about it in mind obviously they've been better than Pez they made that big jump but every year they say oh we got all these little stuff and now we got all this stuff coming in but they never improve it major yeah but but, but, but yeah, you see fans choices wise let's yeah yeah I know what you mean yeah. I know what you mean but I'm FIFA just saying they kind of in the clubs thing didn't they Oh no, FIFA, EA. Yeah, F- well, EA brought in clubs thing, didn't they? On FIFA Nine. Yeah. And nine was so, up with um, it was like an online team play, wasn't it? It was in your virtual club yeah. in Nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but like Pez have been so behind. I mean, now the the oh, you can play eleven versus eleven. I mean, FIFA's had that for like and they've had that two. Years. Oh wait. Yeah, exactly. They're not coming up with anything new. It seems to be like. Some of the ultimate team has absolutely sent FIFA up, you know, into the roof, hasn't yeah. it? I mean, it's and, and I don't think they can come back now. Revolution Soccer, I think it's it's dead. I think, think I mean, original as well to do with like, a football game, like like do you do cartoon, yeah, I think as well now. And the camera angle, it's just oh, it's just a poor game. Yeah. And, it had, and it had so much potential at one point, but so poor now. Mm, I, I they didn't nothing happened to them, did it? Like the company didn't go bust or nothing like that. No, no, no. I just didn't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the chicken hell's going on. I think, it, I think the problem was the servers at first. And a lot of people left because the servers were shit. Yeah. But then, but then because most of the people left that and went to to FIFA, FIFA they never looked back because it's got better and better and better and better. And I don't, I don't think Pez actually concentrated on the things that were wrong. They tried to just put new things in it to to mask the problems. And you know, it can't work. Hmm. But um. What, do you want to talk? Do you want to carry on talk about this, or do you want to do this bizarre uh, sponsor Swindon Town? Yeah, I, let me just say about the uh, what we were talking about. Pairs. So I can see why they're not concerned. Just like you can just tell, as we were just talking about, you can just tell the, this no need to worry from. Not big because they know they've got a good there's no game. Because no right? From eleven, they're going to make a massive <laughs> jump to the how FIFA 12 is. That's all it is. They don't have to worry. Maybe. I don't know, maybe like some Pez fans are just saying one day you get knocked off your pedestal. Maybe we will. Maybe money will come into Pez, but I don't know. I don't know. Money is a, it's a Japanese game, isn't it? It's a Japanese version, isn't it? Pez. Yeah, yeah. I ain't surprised. Yeah, it is. The Japanese got friggin' loads of money. It's friggin' ridiculous. No, actually, I'm worth nothing, is it? I'll done my. The Japanese only. Yeah, but maybe, maybe it's because, you know, them games in Japan and whatever aren't as popular as. Yeah, was like, obviously, hey, yeah, it's British game, isn't it? big game yeah. over there, and then obviously, obviously, like it's like um, PlayStation's the big thing over in Japan, whereas Xbox is is more popular, like kind of in the US and stuff. It's just like it's a Japanese brand, so it's yeah. obviously going to be more popular over there. It's weird. It's weird how the market works. It's cool. Right, I want to ask you guys. I just want to ask you guys before we go to the next topic. Do you hear about the guy who died for oh, yeah. Yeah. for right. eight hours? Oh yeah. Like, I need a deep thrombosis or something like that. What do you think, funny? Right, he had a blood clot, 
right? Just to say, right, you didn't look the healthiest guy in the world, right? But that's no reason, right? Seriously, right? If you're, you, right, to get a blood clot, you go sit there. You said he sat there for 12 hours. Well, you did. I admire the guy. I actually literally admire the guy for sitting still for 12 hours. What a legend. <laughs> How can you sit still for 12 hours, though? Right, I mean, right, that means you play you play COD. Yeah, you tell me you can sit there for 12 hours? Or Even now, I'm... Without, without <laughs> moving your hands, or, yeah. or for it pad at wall when some guy's camping or something like that? Like, after one well, day, I need to go and have a shite or something, so... I yeah. just, like, I can't... If, if, I, if I've got a 36 kills to one death, I'm having a shit just through excitement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can't... Oh, could, like, seriously, do, you must be, like, right. I'm, it was him and his dad, I think, were playing. I think it was him and his dad, I'm assuming. Um, his dad didn't notice his son dying. He's like, one more game, son. One more game. No, no, no. He probably thought, he's dying, that cunt. Yes, I'm going to win the game. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, you like, seriously, like, in the paper, they said that you had to sit still. But basically, he sat still for 12 hours. That's impossible. Yeah, it is impossible. Seriously, right? I ain't being offensive, but that could be the world record to actually get that. Well, let's be honest, not many people's going to try and beat that, have <laughs> Die. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's weird. It's, it's strange like, how you can... Uh, what video games video games um, can actually do to you after a certain amount of time? I think that I, yeah. it was slightly misleading. I got a feeling that he didn't just sit there for 12 hours. He must have been there for a while. Oh, yeah, speaking of video games, did, did you hear about the Japanese parents, I think Japanese or Chinese, that sold their kids to help the uh, game and addiction. What is it? They, um, some parents sold their kids so they can uh, help, um, well, not like, so go play video games in the computer, like on the computer in the internet cafe. Yeah. Well, I haven't heard this story, but I did hear about a story about one of the, like a, um, an Asian country, like, you know, South Korea or whatever. And, um, Basically, over there, you know, internet cafes uh, are everywhere, and apparently um, there's, a, there's a game over there what's probably the most popular that every kid goes to play in these, um, in, you know, internet cafes. Probably because nobody, not many families can probably afford, like, consoles or whatever. No. And basically, he was with a girl, not his girlfriend, but with a girl that's a friend. And basically... Um, while they were walking towards the internet cafe, they would spent a couple of hours in there, and he asked for he asked her if he could have any money. So she said, "No, I ain't got, I ain't got any." So he decided on the way back home, he decided to push her off like a ravine, and then um, like kill her, and then he's left her. I mean, I'm not being funny. What? Oh my! Right, seriously, like gaming. You're going to play the game again. I might just quit. I might just quit what, gaming. What a nice chap! What a nice guy. Why, why didn't you just go? Bastard. <laughs> but, you know, for, for the sake of a couple oh of my quid... How oh, dare you not give me any money? I am going to push you off a ravine. But, but, but this is, I think, in some countries. That's what you know. That is, seriously, that's... Like, it's quite surprising how just playing a game on your console, or on a computer, or wherever you're on, can do to you. Well... <laughs> It's actually mad, right? Uh, do you want to go off that? Because it's kind of getting depressing. Because we got yeah. Should we talk settings. about the sponsors, Wind and Town thing? Oh, yeah, that is important topic of the day. Uh, I think they were sponsored. Uh, FIFA Eleven sponsored them as well, didn't they? It was. FIFA Eleven sponsors Wind and Town as well. You'd actually get the kit on out the team. No, I don't know, maybe, but that is a. It's a bit bizarre. Yeah, it's quite. I'm quite surprised you haven't gone to a bit of a bigger club. Well, yeah, I would think yeah, about they, themselves. They call, they, some they, yeah, Twindon is a decent-sized club, but they could be Sweden, someone better. Swindon should be all pimped out now in FIFA 12. They should literally have the face gems of all the players and everything. Uh, if they're sponsoring, that would be pretty cool. Well, yeah, you like, I bet you're in when you see all the other ones just randomly generating, you just see Swindon perfect. <laughs> 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 it is, so, yeah, Swindon Town, guys, what do you think of them being sponsored by FIFA 12? And also, guys, we got an interview with Tyler and Smith. Unfortunately, we can't watch her at the moment because, well, I've seen it. But uh, it looks like FIFA sort of blog have gone down, and I don't think Sweet Patch have actually got it. So, yeah, guys, it basically, in the interview, they say, like... Uh, Come on, uh, Dave, get on it. Get on it, Dave. Jeez. What? what? Dave Witts needs to get on it and get it. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't don't know, like, what the hell? But, like, but, but end, of, end of day, guys, we're going to have these links in the description, you know, ones that we haven't talked about, so you guys can 
you know, it's like we got you, you guys can Bobby. click on another another log. <laughs> um, yeah. So the Tyler and Smith, so they had an interview with uh, FIFA Soccer Blog, and Dave is back. He just left. <laughs> <laughs> just like hung us up, and then oh, I'm back actually. Um, so yeah, they had an interview. I'm assuming they were talking about. Uh, can't remember. I think that we should leave that because I need to watch the video again. So basically, they had an interview. They were talking about like, oh, uh, you should, like be there and stuff, or just the general interview stuff and whatnot. Uh, so do you, do you want to move on to our pair of Sit, wait, 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 thank you, Nathan Cormac. Cormac. Uh, great vid. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I have a brief thing on this best of the rest thing. Oh no. Basically, the best of the rest. If uh, FIFA won a 20-year award thing or something, and he's, uh, I can see why. Anyway, I can see why they've won it. Maybe not. Uh, mm, yeah. No. It's Dave lagged out. Yeah, he has lagged out. So they want to just, Dave. And we're over an hour as it is, so you want to just quickly move on to the. Yeah, yeah. Let's go on. Uh, we are freaking killing this podcast, right? Um, right. <laughs> Play the week. In the, uh, play of the week, go on. Name me your play of the week. Um, well, this week I've been playing with my South African squad. I know you've had one before. Yeah. And it's really rare. As some of the players are really rare. They're really hard to find. One of my, the player, my favorite player so far has been Shabalala. Five stars. Shabalala! Shabalala. And he's wicked, Shabalala. He's really, we have their red all back in the pickle. I'm back! Woohoo! Anyway, as I was saying, Shabalala, he plays, he plays in the South African League. But um, five star skills, really good pace, and uh, he's only like two thousand coins. He's a silver player, really, really good player. I love him. Yeah. Only problem though, when I, I noticed when I released a video saying oh, I'm gonna make a South African side, because it was very limited players, a lot of them got price lot. So you wanna watch that. Yeah, I know they're really anti. Don't price. like if you see them such a high price. Don't actually go and buy it. You can get them cheaper. Like I got this informed bronze guy for like two k, and then I saw him for like eight after. So. Yeah, I got I got him for three now, but like you, it's rare that he's seen that. Long. Like two in the morning, and my eyes blaring out my head. So yeah, <laughs> um, my play of the week, guys, is gonna be uh, Morton Gans. No, actually, I don't want it to be him. I um, remember his name is like Stan Beg or something. He's Norwegian. I can't remember his name. I only got on my team up at the moment. Um, <laughs> what a recommendation. I can't remember his name. He's no easy to elect right yeah. basically, and he's just a standard one and he's pretty easy to um, come across. He's pretty cheap as well. I got him in a 442 for like a few hundred coins with my Norwegian sign. He's a beast. Uh, uh, John Carew, great pace up front as well to help him out. And yeah, go buy him, a few hundred coins. And Dave, what's your play? I have got a player, under- just give me two seconds while my is he under- web app. Okay. Uh, he's actually a silver player, but he is an absolute beast master. All right, hold on. Um, let me get in quick. I have got it. Yeah. A lot of people, guys, if you're listening to this, want me to go Napoli in Season 5. Okay. I think you should go, yeah. Right, my guy is called uh, Cater. He plays in the Le- uh, Liga... Uh, is it Adel Lan- Lente? Uh, the, uh, you know, it's, it's basically... It's, it's the... It's, La Liga, second division, yeah? So, uh, Span- Spanish second division. He's in a silver player, he's rated 73. He plays for Real um, Valor, Valor de Roy, Roy, I can't even say his name. But anyway, this guy is an absolute tank. 88 pace, he's strong as an ox. He's got one hell of a shot on him as well. Um, power-wise, he's, he's like nearly 90 power-wise. And you can get him, guys, for about... Well, I mean, I, I paid a thousand for him, but you can get him for like eight hundred coins. He's an absolute beast. I I really do uh, suggest making a league team from there because there's some amazing players for Real Betis. Oh, Adam, your channel is not in good standing, just to say. Oh, I know. That's age group. What happened was, right? I put a video called FIFA 11 glitch video. It's your problem. Like, yeah, and <laughs> it, it was a glitch though. Oh, was gl- I think you mean, was like, uh, you should have did, like, a comedy or something, didn't you? You didn't do a comedy on it, did you? I, I put a big massive read the description before commenting, but everyone went, this isn't a glitch, what's going on? But it turns out one of the players on our team ended up in the other team's goal. But, uh, yeah. That was so funny, I ended up scoring, like, 
Yeah, I mean, but it's going like a goal, and it was ridiculous. <laughs> Nathan, who would it nets on their team for some reason, just decided to run out 50 uh, yards. So, this going to transfers, guys. Uh, I want to quit name worst player. No, I'm going worst player of the week, actually. I'm telling you. Um, so, yeah, um, transfers, the one and only Aguero is a lot like it's gone to Manchester City, quite disappointing. He has gone. He has gone. It's not looking like it, man. <laughs> he's there. He's chilling out in Manchester. Gone to the wrong club. He, he was tweeting. I think he was tweeting out. He's actually tweeting out saying, I'm gone. I'm actually signed. And they haven't even announced anything. I think I think he got lost on his way to Old Trafford. <laughs> <laughs> but look, when he, like... Uh, he's just gone to Chelsea. Even Forlan. Even Diego Forlan said that uh, Chelsea is more his style of play. But money talks and bullshit walks down it down. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what the Premier League's made up of these days. Um, just money. And, like, with Chelsea, they freaking... They've just got too many strikers now. They should just sell... Ah, oh, this is cheap. And Elk is a pile of shit. I mean, he's so idle sometimes. He's got the potential to be better than what he is. But he's just so idle sometimes. I think... Um, uh, and Torres has actually been scoring in pre-season, so I think it's going to be a good season for them. Yeah, I reckon. That's yeah, but Dave, in fairness, the teams he's been scoring against my mum. Oh, God, that, so. because I'm not talking about Man United. Don't hate me, yeah? yeah? But I'm just saying Torres, honestly, he hasn't scored against any of these. He's the guy who was Hernandez. He's amazing. What clubs did he score against last season? Pretty much on, like, second, third round FA Cup teams or something like that. Hernandez, he scored against Chelsea twice last season. Wow, he goals. Yeah, lucky, yeah, sure. Didn't he have like 17 goals, Hernandez? Um, yeah. He had, over, he had over 20 actually, Dan. 20, 20 in his debut season. You know how many Blackburn had? Nine. 20 in total. <laughs> <laughs> Nine was the top goal scorer, then it was like eight, and then someone else had it. Um, I don't think it was even uh, that many. Talking about Man United, there's been rumours about uh, Bib Top going to Paris Saint Germain, apparently. Yeah, um, why did he say it? Why would he even say him? He played awesome last season. No, I pay him. I pay them to take him, to be honest. What? Um, apparently, uh, Paris, Paris, Paris Saint-Germain have got a, is it a Qatar kind of, you know, like like a chic kind of person, you know, who basically, like the same kind of guy who's got Man City. I'm and he, yeah, he's just basically pumping money in there because he's got so much that he probably baths in it, I don't know. Um, and We're just tweeting they've been guys while well, quality it lately. So, yeah. Um, does it say but the main is- topic... The main topic regarding the United though is that uh, move for Wesley Schneider. That has been. How many is he going? What's he doing? The big for the last three weeks. Yeah, I don't yeah but there was a rumour. See, the thing was that uh, United put in a bid apparently of 35 million. That's apparently been accepted. But the thing was, Schneider gets paid basically the equivalent of 190,000 pounds a week. But um, United, that was outside their wage structure. But apparently, Nike are going to come in and uh, pay the difference in the wages. Because obviously, if he he works for Nike, so obviously if he plays for United, he's going to sell more shirts, and Nike will earn more money, basically. Yeah. Well, let me just round this up then, Peter. Apparently, the new Chelsea manager, yeah. um, he has got his eyes on uh, Pato. Now, um, when the, Liverpool the talk, meant to buy him? Yeah, there's talks of a 50 million bid for for Pato. He's still, a, 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 yeah, I think he scored a decent amount of goals last season. Any more? Even, he, he he, I thought he was a winger. Or was I just no? He's a five-star skinner, that's why he is. <laughs> yes. Um, he's actually a right forward on, on FIFA. But anyway, on the Ultimate Teams, anyway, he, he, there's rumours that he wants to come in. He's a big fan of him. So, um, you know, like, I hope Ain't so. Is Falcao so, going there as well? Or is that possibly, yeah. Now, I don't know. Apparently, they're going to get him. And not for a lot, a lot amount of money as well. And I think he, he's kind of style of play. He's quite physical, isn't he? So I think that's all. That's, you know... You, you need a good physical side of your game to play in Premiership. Yeah. For sure. Like, for example, uh, they want to get Neymar. He wouldn't cope in the Premier League, Neymar. He would have a friggin'. It's, Maybe not. It's, got, it's like. Um, what's his name? It's like Ronaldo. You see, Ronaldo, brilliant skills, but he actually what a big kind of a big player, wasn't he? A big blow. Yeah, you can tell. Was, like, you can tell he come from the Premier League because he so, is a massive. He is. Yeah, so it's like he's kind of. He's so people think, oh yeah, you know, it's all skill, just kick him off. But he's actually a big blow. And he's good in air as well. So yeah. you know, but I don't think Neymar it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I think his goals are amazing. That he's, so he's going lightly. Did he only compete to the Premier League? Yeah, yeah it's it's <laughs> not. It's not. Oh, I'll try how many step on it. I'm gonna break your leg in it. I mean, comes across like Blackpool or Bolton. <laughs> there he goes your toes. Freaking Samba. Can you imagine him and they? Charging that running. I, I like Sandler, but I can't take him seriously now. I've seen his picture on Ultimate Team. 
<laughs> it's the most weird picture in it. Ooh, it's, it's like, like oh, it's like you could see well, like funny. if you could see below it, below the picture. I think he's wearing a dress. Yeah, and if you look at Samba's team picture on Black on the Black and Rover's website, it's proper serious. Like I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna eat you alive. And then on his buddy on his on the team one, he looks like a pedo. Oh, he looks like, oh, does he sound that good with his dress? <laughs> and my mum oh, he got a weird tilt, and then he got a, a cheesy grin going on, and he got the eyes looking at you. He got the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it worse. On a side note, do you know who has the most horrible grin ever? It's Gordon Brown. That grin is just, ooh. <laughs> it's like a real, ooh. It sends shivers down. I was actually looked at Gordon Brown for a while, to be honest with you. I haven't actually looked at him. Always. I never got him Gordon, Gordon Brown on my own wedding. <laughs> I've got uh, <laughs> someone called Wetty Brown, I don't know if that's just the same, but... Yeah, uh, it's wet and all. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, what's, no, is, that, is that the round up, you guys? I to post a link in, but you never did. Which? The transfers, you was meant to post a link in. Yeah, but there was no real big ones, we just talked about the main ones anyway. Should we just change that to I Love Fizz? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that rap, guys? Yeah, we've known this around an hour yeah, and 15 minutes. Is she going to rap? Uh, hey, actually, I've really enjoyed this one, guys. Yeah, yeah it's been, it's it's been, been a general chat for an hour and a half. So if you've been, well, not even an hour, maybe 15. So if you've been, if you've stuck this far, guys, post in the comments. I like polar bears on the icicles with lava and crisps. And right, as well, guys. In the link, <laughs> the Actually, we, be, we do that because I think about that YouTube myself. channel in the link. Well, it's going to be like a custom battlefield kind of thing. So if any of you guys who, who play <laughs> Call of Battlefield, come over, subscribe, and um, come over. Well, with me, man. We'll Good. have the subscriber of the week also in the description. Wonga, of Good guy. You nice guy. Tweeted out. Wonga tweet James, actually. We should call him James now. He's one of us. He's a part of I think I want your HD. I think he, he, he is. He just but tweeted out, well, he tweeted out about 50 minutes ago. Just done the podcast. Had a really good time. Legends. Thanks for having me. Welsh and Yeshi, Irish Welsh Cal, and Sam Bugelman. So he's a pure legend. Right, guys. We need a quote for people who've actually come this far. Because the one I just said was way too much. Like polar bears stuck on lava with bicycles. and. Uh, I've got one here. I've got one here, actually. Pot noodles with crisps and polar bears. Peppered steak slice. What? Peppered steak slice. I've, I had one earlier that wrapper's still next to my computer, so uh, a peppered what? steak slice. It's like a pasty. I couldn't That's spell cool. that. I couldn't even freaking... Yeah, no, no, no. Write down. Hmm. Mm, you can tell me you can't, can't spell peppered steak slice. Oh, peppered steak <laughs> slice. Oh, I was wondering what you freaking say, and That's what I mean. I couldn't do you properly. That's a bit of a tongue twister, that one. Yeah. Pepper steak slice, buttery biscuit base. This will make it spend it. Another day, space, space, buttery. Yeah, so no. either, right, think of a quote. Polar bears live underwater. Post that, and yeah. Why does it always have to be polar bears? Yeah, polar bears don't so tired of the thing ever. They wouldn't, right? Yeah, so what are bears that live underwater? They pretty much don't, Dan. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean. You could just put it in no. for a fact. No, no, the, the the quote is going to be peppered steak slice. No freaking polar bears, no living underwater, oh, no animals. It, well, the might animals go in peppered steak slice. Oh my god, call it like penguin. No, why is that thing something like that? Oh Thank my you. god, Dan, <laughs> peppered steak slice, guys. Quote it. Okay, end of the podcast, guys. Thanks for listening. Your legends drop a like as usual. Bye-bye. Peace, master. Guys. Polar bears. All nice it goes with penguins. Step is the size. Bye. Uh, I already stopped recording. <laughs>